we begin this afternoon with signs that the U.S. may be moving in the direction of becoming a police state. Now, we've heard about drones being used in the Middle East. Most recently, Iran seized a U.S. drone accused of spying on the country. But now reports that predator drones are being used on American citizens on U.S. soil. This video pretty much sums it all up. Nelson County, North Dakota Sheriff Kelly Yonke was looking for six missing cattle on the Brosser family farm when three armed Brosser brothers chased him away. Yonke called the Highway Patrol, a SWAT team, a bomb squad, and a predator drone operated by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The drone was used to surveil the property until the Brosser brothers were observed to be unarmed. Then the SWAT team moved in to make the arrests. Yes, that really happened. An unmanned multi-million dollar drone was reportedly used to help local police track down stolen cows um, and their owners. So, so what is happening here in the U.S., and is this a sign of things to come? The always outspoken radio host Alex Jones is here now to help dig deeper into all of this. Alex, why in the world are local police in North Dakota using a drone to track down U.S. citizens? Well, that's because this is their prime enemy and prime target. Our country has been taken over by Goldman Sachs, the same folks that have taken over Europe. Uh, they publicly uh, are, are setting up a system where the entire military industrial complex is used against the people. And in the internal law enforcement manuals that I've gotten from law enforcement in the last decade, but especially in the last few years, none of it is about al Qaeda that our government's given control of Libya to. It's all about land rights activists, Second Amendment activists, property rights activists. And now, under the Department of Defense, there's the Rural Affairs Council and the 10 uh, uh, Governor's Council. And in the training, and this is public, it is all about having an all-out civil war with rural populations who aren't going to give their property up under the Rural Council. So, of course, hundreds of miles inside the U.S., you know, they won't use the predator drones on illegals coming across the border, but they will on citizens who, under common law, cows keep coming on your property for the damage and things, you are able to keep them. That's common law. That's state law. And uh, the fact is that then, without a warrant, they came on the property, and they said, hey, get out of here. You don't have a warrant. And they had firearms in their vehicles, so they called in uh, a, a Air Force uh, a vehicle. And this is a multi-million dollar system they use to kill people worldwide. And why is it happening? When they passed the NDAA that Ron Paul has called martial law in America here in the U.S. a few weeks ago, when they passed that, it says the whole world, not just the U.S., can have pr predators over it dropping bombs on them. So it's a declaration of war, an end to posse comitatus, troops on the streets, and says they can kill U.S. citizens, disappear U.S. citizens. It isn't a police state. It's beyond a police state. It's something more like North Korea. Do you think, Alex, that this is a sign of things to come, this cross from using, because drones are typically used in the Middle East, um, you know, on terrorists. Um, do you think that this could be the beginning of more instances like this, where, where we see predator drones being used on U.S. citizens? Yes, uh, NORTHCOM, based in Colorado Springs, Colorado, is the real government. And the United States is a battlefield for at least a decade. They're just announcing now what they always planned. I mean, I knew nine years ago we were going to have TSA checkpoints. People laughed, but I watched C-SPAN. I read the documents. I made them public. Uh, now they have TSA checkpoints with the Army and Marines in states all over the U.S. And you pull up in the middle of the countryside, and there's highway checkpoints with cops dragging you out of the car under the orders of TSA. Now, they have Marine Corps running DUI checkpoints to make it sound like good PR. They're just getting everybody ready for this. I mean, uh, Army Times, uh, Stars and Stripes three years ago, said Homeland Brigade, Brigade Homeland was the headline, preparing to pull triggers on American citizens. And I, I mean, the military's public. They are training. I've been to the drills where they train to go door to door, confiscating our firearms, arresting political dissidents. What came to Russia, what came to Nazi Germany, what came to China, what's come to every other country, classical authoritarianism is now coming here, and the drones that we pay for are going to be used against us. Not when there's a bank robbery, not when a liquor store gets robbed, not when your house gets invaded, but when you are that rural gun owner, the entire posture of the Pentagon is literally set to wage war on self-sufficient country boys, as Hank Williams' song, A Country Boy Can Survive. You can skin a buck. You can run a trot line. 
the, the, the law enforcement is obsessed with it. Because but why, why target the rural farmers? Um, well, what danger do they pose? Why did Stalin target them in Ukraine? Why did Hitler go after uh, rural areas? They don't want you being self-sufficient. They want you in the artificial big cities, the artificial habitat uh, that they've basically set up, their control grids. You, I mean, you go out in the middle of nowhere, and you'll be in country towns with Homeland Security cameras everywhere, helicopters flying over, because I've been telling people this is coming in the rural areas, because I've talked to the police. Uh, they are scared of people that are self-sufficient and who they know aren't going to turn their guns in when they're ordered to. Okay, uh, Alex, you know, one argument that we hear from pro pro proponents of drones and, and other surveillance methods is that, hey, do whatever it takes to improve the se safety and security of, uh, of the population. Um, what do you think about this mm -hmm. argument? Um, and can you talk about the capacity uh, of drones to be abused? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, look, Hitler said he did everything he did be to keep people safe. Uh, Fidel Castro does that. Pol Pot did that. I mean, in, in, in every case, tyrants always claim it's to keep you safe. But as the founders said, like George Washington, government is like fire, a dangerous servant, a fearful master. Government is, in the 20th century, government killed over 200 million people, more than anything else that was an unnatural death. Government is always the greatest abuser. Government is always the greatest danger when it gets out of hand. And we told everybody this was coming. We told you highway checkpoints. We told you end of posse commentatus military on the streets. We told you TSA groping you in body scanners. And people never believed it. All of it is now going to come. You notice the militaries are lining up against each other worldwide. You notice Iran's threatening to shut off the Strait of Hormuz. You notice there's uh, stage revolutions going on everywhere. This is the banker takeover. Look at Europe. They admit a banker occupation with the countries all waiving their rights and signing it over to Goldman Sachs, who runs it. I mean, this is worldwide tyranny. Our military's been hijacked. Our police have been hijacked. Our, our state governments are now under federal control. Uh, America has turned into the evil empire, as Ron Paul has pointed out. And we're only going to get our republic back by admitting how much tyranny we've gotten into. The great threat is this tyranny. And, and, and the banks are getting ready for runs on the banks. They're getting ready to take the pension funds, just like in Portugal, just like in Greece. And so they're gearing up to use this paramilitary force because if they don't, people like John Corzine, who's, 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 you know, billions of dollars have now disappeared from MF Global, and he won't say where it went, he's going to go to jail like Bernie Madoff. The president, Eric Holder, who on record has been caught perjuring and shipping guns into Mexico. Ron Paul today on my radio show said it's criminal what happened. It's a false flag. They're all going to prison if they don't set up martial law. And I hope the world understands that. This isn't a game. These criminals are going to try to bring in total tyranny because if they don't, they're all going to prison. Um, very passionate and, and fascinating um, arguments coming from you. I do want to ask you um, why you think some people uh, dismiss you a as a conspiracy theorist. I mean, you've, you've warned people of things. Um, some of them have come true. Um, but we do continue to hear this criticism. Why do, why do you think that, that there is, that some people do dismiss you as, as a conspiracy theorist? When my grandfather was in a B-17 and a Liberator, he was in both those bombers as a pilot in World War II, they said, when you're over the target, you get the flak. How do they know they were over the target? Because the flak was coming up. Okay, I've got flak, you know, Nightline, you name it, uh, all these, Rolling Stone magazine, MSNBC, all attacking me because I'm over the target. I've been to the urban warfare drills. I'm sent the secret documents by patriots inside the government. I know what's coming. I know about FEMA now staffing the FEMA camps. That's admitted with Kellogg, Brown, and Root of Halliburton. And so conspiracy theory is just a way to say don't listen to what he has to say and it's not working anymore. And so all I beg people to do is to look into the information we cover at Infowars.com for themselves and decide and research, do you want the next phase of this to come into view? Alex, pleasure to have you on the show as always. That was radio host Alex Jones. Thank you.